<laughs> Hi guys, it's your girl Ursula C and I am here with my March end of the month review. Okay, yeah, it's April like 6th, 7th, whatever. Anyway, first of all, I want to say um, I hope all you guys are enjoying Good Friday. I know a lot of you guys are off. It's Easter weekend. If you're traveling out of town or doing something, be safe. And I hope that all of you guys have a very just wonderful weekend. And remember to give all praise and thanks to the Lord who went and died on the cross for us, for our sins, so that we can be here today and just living in the land and the world that he's created for us. And I just give thanks to God for that because he's first in my life. And if he did that for me, it's like, wow, you know. I don't know anyone, not my mama, you know, not my fiance, nobody who would go on the cross and die for me. So, I mean, think about that, you know, would you get nails in you for your people? I mean, I'm going to be honest, I, I, you know, you say you do anything for anybody, but that's the perfect example of doing anything for anybody, for everybody. Okay. So anyway. This is the end of the month review, and I just want to say hi and welcome to my channel. All my old subscribers, uh, what's up? All my new subscribers, how you doing? Okay, anyway, I'm going to jump right in because I don't want to take too much of your time up, and I have some stuff that I want to do. I want to get my Easter weekend started, and uh, yeah. So anyway, the first thing is that I'm still doing the Insanity program. And I actually today just started month two. I'm not sure which, if I'm going to be posting this video that you're watching now first or if I'm going to be posting the video for the uh, update on my Insanity Workout program to let you guys know how I'm doing so far. I will be posting a, a video with pictures of my results as of yet, but I have entered into month two. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Check out my channel, go to my page, look at my vlogs for the Insanity Workout, and um, continue to follow me on my journey. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the obvious. Like, your girl has some pink lips. Um, I don't know if the color is really, really showing up exactly how it looks. And, of course, you have to remember on different skin tones, on different people, the color is going to look different. Your video, you know, it's all going to look different. But I actually won a contest from Jada Barbie. Hey girl, thank you um, for allowing us to enter into the contest and thank you for picking me. I don't know how you picked me, but however, I won. And one of the, uh, one of the, or the, what am I trying to say? Y'all know I'm not gonna edit this because edit this out because I don't do editing right now because I don't have time. But um, I won the, if you won the contest, the reward, your prize was a MAC lipstick. And this is actually the uh, Viva Glam Nikki. So this is the Nicki Minaj lipstick and it is satin. You can see that. Yeah. Okay. And this is the actual lip color. Now this is definitely not showing up how it should. I don't know if that makes it better. That might make it a little bit better. But it is very pink. Very, very, very pink. Um, definitely not something that I'd wear every day, but it is definitely like so cool to wear. So if you have a cool outfit on or you just really feel like being out there and doing something, this is a good lipstick. It is the you know, MAC has the matte and gloss, whatever. This is the satin finish, and it's Nikki by Nicki Minaj, and I love it. My lips are really soft. How you like that, thick daddy? I'm just kidding. Anyway, so this is really cool, so I just wanted to show you guys this. Also, since I'm showing my hands, um, I bought two new nail polishes this month. One of them has a story behind it, but the actual, the one that I have on my hand is the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Color. 
and the um, gosh what is this color actually called let's see it says pill and something I don't know what this color is called um yeah I don't know what this color is called but there you go not sure of the color but this is how it came out on my hands this one has all the colors on it so there you go it's really shiny it kind of has like some glitter to it so I think that's just really neat color the other no color polish I bought was uh, the story behind it was me and my cousin we were watching Basketball Wives and I forgot the name of the girl because I really don't watch Basketball Wives but one of the girls she keeps wearing this color my cousin's like that color is so cool it's green and I'm like girl that's black and so we went back and forth but as time went on we did notice that it was a green color but it looks black so I went to Ulta and I bought the Opie nail color and it, this one is called here today are gone tomorrow and let's see yeah here today and are gone tomorrow and this is what it looks like it looks black um, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera it looks black but let's see if it'll show up on my nail here so you can guys can see it looks black but when you put it in the light or you know it gleams a certain way it's really green And I'm not going to put that much on because I'm just going to take it off and repolish this nail. But see how it's green? But once you put on a couple coats, it gets as dark as what's in here. But right now, you see how that looks green? But when you put a lot of coats on, it looks black. So anyway, I just thought that was really neat. So we call this the Basketball Wives Nail Polish. And this is by Opie. Alright. So the next three things, of course, is about hair. As you guys know, and I keep saying that... Um, uh, I love Kinky Curly, but I think that it was breaking me out. So I've decided to kind of put Kinky Curly on the back burner for right now. And um, I've just been trying different products. And I'm, I've been on the Curly Girl Method since I believe February or something like that. Um, I've been using the Diva Curl products and they've been working out great. A quick update on my workout and how I've been doing. I've just been rinsing my hair a lot more. I do diffuse a lot more, which I don't like. But sometimes I'm just rushing out the door and... I don't want to go outside with wet hair, but as it's starting to get hot again, um, even though in Texas it never really just got super duper cold, but um, I'm going to start letting my hair air dry more. But um, one Diva Curl product that I've added, I have the One Condition, the, the Angel, and now I've added the Diva Curl Set It Free. It's a moisture lock, and I actually love this product. It's, it's pretty cool. It adds moisture to your hair because... Yeah, you're putting gel and conditioner, but sometimes you need a, a little bit more moisture, a little bit more shine and all that, and this definitely gives it. So I probably will end up buying the big um, bottle of this. This is just the, tr the trial size. With Diva Curl products, I love that you can just go to Ulta and just buy the travel size. You don't have to, to, to buy the whole big thing first because it is kind of expensive. Which brings me to my next two products. Because things are so expensive, I've been trying to find things that I could easily find um, that kind of fit into the Curly Girl Method. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to just continue on the Curly Girl Method. I don't know if my hair is really reaping any benefits. I, I, I honestly don't know if it's helping it or not. But I will say that I'm trying to find products that are cheaper than my, than my products that I normally use like Kinky Curly or Diva Curl. So I've been to this whole Tresemme Naturals thing and they have a line. I went in Target the other day and I didn't know they had this line. So I don't know if it's new, if any of you guys have heard of it. But it's the Flawless Curls line. And they have like a whole bunch of stuff. But the Target I went to, they didn't have the whole line. But when I looked on the internet and kind of researched it, there's like a whole line that goes with it. Um, so one of the things that I've been running into as far as styling my hair is when I use gel of course um, it takes a long time to dry so I said well what if I try to mousse and I actually did it doesn't have any um, you know it doesn't go against the curly girl method as far as it doesn't have any silicones and blah 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 so I have bought the mousse 
the mousse is a lot um let's see if i do it this way uh the mousse is a lot lighter so that means that it dries a lot faster so when i'm really 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 on the go sorry that was my phone so when i'm really 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 on the go and i just want something really fast that i know that's going to dry even quicker than gel i use this now i'm not saying that my curls are popping as much as or compared to when i actually use gel and all that but it it does the trick and especially now that i'm having to wet my hair a lot more or cold wash a lot more due to working out this works pretty good um and it smells really good their products smell really good and the last thing that i got was um they actually do have like a regular gel but this is a spray gel and it's also by tresemme flawless curls and this is a curl definer it says it shapes and smooths it's a spray gel and basically what i do is when i get out the shower i uh whichever leave-in conditioner i do i kind of rinse it out and leave a little conditioner in then i use diva curl set it free and then i take whatever gel whether it's the angel or if i want to use this which i like this a lot better because i like the way it smells um and then i just put this in and i just kind of rake it through my hair and i diffuse or air dry this also doesn't have any uh cones or or anything like that that goes against the curly girl method as far as what i see or know um this the hold it is i have it in my hair today and the hold is um it, it holds <laughs> when it dries it is crunchy but you know you scrunch the crunch and this is something that i can get next day hair out of second day hair out of uh like i said i'm working out now so i'm wetting my hair a lot more so second anything past third day hair is probably not even going to happen for me because i have to rinse my hair out because i'm just sweating so much so both of these products i believe i don't even think they were more than five dollars no more than five dollars and look how much you get and this is eight fluid ounces and this is going to last a long time uh depending on your hair length and how much you want to use but like i said i just put it in and rake it through and these are my results using the flawless curls this is my results so you like I like it it defines my curls pretty good um, it just really works for me um, at first the first day when it dries it gives you that kind of wet look but as time goes on it you know does lighten up because the hold isn't there as much anymore because you've scrunched it or laid on it or whatever so it does loosen up a little bit but I love it and I love the way it smells I can't describe the smell it just smells um to me it smells i know people hate when people do this because i kind of do but it just it kind of has a little sweet smell but it's not overwhelming um i love it so i think that you guys if you're looking for something cheaper than diva curl products if you're looking for something cheaper than um kinky curly especially if you're looking for something and you're already using the tresemme naturals line I think that you should try this now they do have a shampoo and conditioner they didn't have it at the store when I got it but I promise you that um, I'm gonna see how it works you know in the summer especially here in Texas it's very very humid and that's one thing that I get concerned about you know we come online and we talk about these hair products but I think it's important even though you don't want to give too in, too much information about where you live and stuff but to really realize that you know, someone living in New York is not going to have the same problem as somebody living in Texas because of the humidity. It's just different. Air quality is different. So all those things also play a factor into what, you know, products are going to work for you. You know, um, if I went to, I don't know, uh, I've been to North Carolina. It's not, I've been to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's not as humid. You come to Texas, it's humid, so you might need something that has a lot more holes or, you know, just depending. So, these products are great, and if you're already using the Tresemme line, which I have some Tresemme conditioner too, which, that is the volumizing one, which, like I said, I don't know how I end up getting that one, but I'm just going to use it, and if it continues to work well for me, nothing's breaking off, my moisture level is holding up, I'm going to continue to use it. I do love the Diva Curl products, and like I said, I'm going to continue to use the Diva Curl Set It Free. 
unless I can find something cheaper or comparable to it that helps with um, the moisture because when I get out the shower I feel like if I really wanted to and one day I'm gonna try it just leave the diva curl on and and keep it going <laughs> so anyway that's my little monthly review and I have more videos coming I have more reviews coming if there's anything that you would like to see on the channel or if you have any questions or any thing that you would like for me to address let me know and also again thank you so much because we're getting close to 200 subscribers so when we get to 200 I probably will do another uh, contest and also I would love to do a kind of question and answer video so if you have any questions that you want asked start um, sending me private messages and maybe you know I don't know how long I'm gonna just keep it open but if you ask me any questions I'm just gonna hold on to those questions and I'll give all the answers in in one video okay so like I said have a happy Easter I love you guys bye